story and we will keep on top of that story. New details tonight on a plan to prevent scenes like this. Well, San Diegans killed while trying to cross the street. Pedestrian deaths in Chula Vista are up 125% since January of 2017. And 10 News reporter Matt Boone is live with what the city is doing to reverse this troubling trend. Matt. Brian, Kim, they say it starts with education, but here is what they're up against. This is one of the most dangerous areas in the city. This is Broadway, and part of the problem is that the intersections are spaced pretty far apart and they're on busy roads. This is Broadway and K Street, but the next stoplight isn't down for about a quarter mile, and pedestrians find it all too tempting to try and run across it. It's a city with long, wide boulevards where sites like this are common. But so are sites like this. Earlier this month, 62-year-old Rogelio Arellano was getting into his car near Moss and 3rd Street when he was struck and killed by a hit-and-run driver. And this scene was just weeks before in February, when a 90-year-old man was hit by two cars while crossing H Street outside a crosswalk. A similar crash occurred in October on Broadway and Sierra. Christopher Eddy was struck and killed by several cars crossing in the middle of a block. The end of 2017, as we started looking at it, we've started to see the increase, which was a little bit alarming. At a news conference today, Chula Vista Police Chief Roxana Kennedy was adamant. One lost life is one too many. According to the police department, there were nine fatal pedestrian crashes in 2017, up 125 percent from the year before. Most of them in the west side of the city, half of them involving either homeless or mentally ill victims. We're having those flyers go out through our homeless outreach team to have conversations, build relationships, talk, talk to the homeless community to explain the challenges uh, that are occurring with them being injured or oftentimes it becomes a fatality. Education is also planned in schools where Josh Perrin, a crossing guard, says he often sees dangerous driving. The signs are out which is signaling not to, not to go. A car will zoom by right before. His advice is simple. I just want to say, please be mindful of everyone. Everyone's lives matter. And police say violators could be given one of these. These are not tickets. They're just pamphlets giving some guidelines on how to stay safe. But they do say they plan on increasing some patrols in problem areas that could potentially ticket repeat offenders. Reporting live in Chula Vista, Matt Boone, 10 News. Some great information. Thanks for that, Matt.